I've been a huge fan of Mega Man since I was a little kid. Be it the Classic Series, the X Series, the Zero Series, the Zex Series, the Battle Network Series, the Star Force Series, or whatever the hell it is series. Uh, it's also one of the biggest contributing factors as to why my favourite colour is blue. But, we're not going to be talking about my history with Mega Man today. Instead, I'm going to be talking about the recently released Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Now before I start however, I would just like to point out that there will be an announcement at the end of this video so watch all the way to the end for it because it might just make your day. So with that being said, let's do this! Mega Man X Legacy Collection Mega Man X Legacy Collection is Capcom's way of celebrating Mega Man's 30th anniversary. And like with the previous release of Mega Man Legacy Collection, this collection contains all the X games released so far from X1 to X8, excluding titles such as Mega Man Extreme, Extreme 2, Command Mission, Maverick Hunter X, and the piss poor attempt of remaking X1 into a pay to win mobile game. I'm not going to talk about the individual games because that would take forever, so I'll just talk about the extra features included in this collection, starting off with what you can do with the games themselves. Each and every game can be toggled between the versions Mega Man X and Rockman X, with options for other languages present in X7 and X8. This is great because you won't have to hear WHAT AM I FIGHTING FOR? Or SOMEBODY PLEASE TELL ME I'M THROUGH WITH THE WORST OF IT! One thing worth noting, especially if you're a fan of Vanguard, is that Morikobo Shotaro, the voice actor for Miwa Taishi, also voiced X from X5 to X7, so it provides a great incentive for you to try and play through these games in Japanese. Not that you'll want to play X7 that much because... Burn! Burn to the ground! Burn! 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 Burn to the ground! You can also toggle the screen size, filter, and the background for every game. This is a simple but nice touch that allows you to customize exactly how you want your experience to be when playing these games. See what I did there? If you find that the games are too hard and you can't clear through them, there is a mode called Rookie Hunter Mode that makes the game a lot easier for you to play through and have fun with. Rookie Hunter Mode cuts down all damage you take by half in addition to any damage reduction you take in-game, pits and spikes no longer kill you instantly starting from X4, and enemies and bosses take lesser hits to destroy. Keep in mind, however, that you cannot earn certain achievements in Rookie Hunter mode. Which brings me to my next point. Throughout the games, you unlock certain achievements such as clearing the game, getting all parts to the armor upgrade, and so on. And then there's some really stupid achievements like listening to all of Alias' lines in X5. Like seriously, who would want to do that other than completionists? I know I wouldn't. There's the museum which lets you look at all the official and concept artworks and merchandise that have been released so far, as well as the music player which lets you listen to your favourite tracks from your favourite games. Game quality may differ, but the music are still extraordinary nonetheless. Last but not least, the biggest addition that hypes the entire Legacy Collection to a whole new level, the X Challenge. This is the highly promoted boss rush mode with a twist. Instead of fighting just one boss, you fight two bosses at the same time. One boss with a predictable pattern is too easy for you, why not two? In this mode, you pick three weapons and then fight through a series of a pair of bosses back to back. I find this mode to be highly enjoyable, but can be a hassle to beat once you crank up the difficulty. I've yet to reach the level when I fight X and Zero at the same time, but Perhaps I might just do that one day, who knows. Mega Man X has been through a roller coaster ride for almost 20 years, but the Legacy Collection shows that Capcom still cares for their fans and is willing to take a huge step forward in order to reach out to us. If the reception is good enough, they just might release Mega Man X9 like how they are going to release Mega Man 11 soon. Mega Man X Legacy Collection is a must-have if you're a fan of the Blue Bomber or a fan of the platform shooter genre and is looking into getting into the Mega Man X universe. With all things said and considered, Mega Man X Legacy Collection gets a thumbs up from me. Hold on, one second. Hello? What? Oh, it's not a thumb video? Oh, okay. Um. Right, 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 the, the announcement, yeah, I'm getting to it. Right, thanks. 
sorry, that was my future self calling me and telling me not to do stupid things like that, so... Yeah, I get that. We will be doing a Mega Man X Legacy Collection live stream on the 26th of August at 1.30pm at Century Gaming. If you are a rear guard and you live in Singapore, do come over and hang out with us and just watch us play the game. Of course, we won't be able to play all the 8x games in one sitting, so do let us know in the comments below or if you're in Discord, let us know in the chat what games you would like us to play. Thank you all very much for watching. If you want to see more of our shenanigans, do consider subscribing to us here on CVGS and ring the bell on the site so you can be notified of all of our updates. At the same time, follow us on our socials, join us on Discord, and support us on Patreon if you like what you see and would like to support the show directly. With that being said, we look forward to seeing you on the live stream and we will see you in the next video. Bye! There we go.